eating. Or they, they think they do, they read the stuff, but they don't actually grasp the idea that when they wake up in the morning, they feel like crap. It's because of what they're putting into their body. So we are achieving major victory, I believe. I mean, look at how many people are reading uh, all these reports on Infowars and everywhere else. They're just reading it every single day, millions and millions of people that are super concerned. Well, it is so an information war, winning. and I think that's why the government is so desperate to get control of the Internet and to shut this down. I think it's they realize that they're losing the information war. I think that if we get people informed, uh, they're going to withdraw their consent. I think we'll see some uh, market changes that will drive not only what we eat, but uh, drive some of the medicines as well. Thank you so much, Anthony. Uh, let's go to uh, Paul Joseph Watson joining us from the U.K right now. Paul? Hey, David. Good to be back. Hi, thank you for joining us. Tell us uh, a little bit about your article here about uh, feminists and uh, not talking about Muslim rape epidemic that's sweeping Europe. Well, this is a point we've pushed over and over again, David, and I've got another article coming out soon, which is top feminist calls for collectivist revolution. And we emphasize this over and over again, which is the point that Feminists don't care about genuine women's rights issues. Third wave feminism is all about authoritarianism and social engineering. So now this top feminist with an organization called One Billion Rising backed by the United Nations, and that's important to emphasize, these feminists aren't just whining on Twitter or Tumblr. They're backed by millions and millions of dollars in foundation and corporate funding. So she's the head of, of an organization that seeks to end rape and sexual violence against women. She doesn't talk about the fact that rape and sexual violence against women is endemic within the Islamic community, which we'll get onto. But she basically got up in front of a, a crowd in New York a couple of weeks ago and gave a speech in which she talked about how feminism was about creating a collectivist revolution and that she was proud to say, quote, American individualism is dead and global solidarity is alive and on the rise. So it was basically kind of a creepy communist cult initiation meeting for feminists who, again, are being backed by millions and millions of dollars in corporate funding. And it, again, it goes back to feminism being completely opposed to classical liberalism, which was the, you know, the moral worth of the individual. She's coming out and brazenly stating that feminism is determined to destroy individualism, destroy free market capitalism, and replace it with a collectivist revolution. So again, feminism is not about genuine women's rights issues. It's about social engineering and advancing this authoritarian agenda. Yeah, and there seems to be a very uh, uh, selective uh, outrage over certain things. As you point out, the feminists are not looking at what is happening to women in uh, fundamental Islamic countries, uh, just as we see that there's no concern about the regular Saudi beheadings. As, as we pointed out the other day, at the rate that they've been beheading people, uh, they're going to get to the number of, of Christians that were beheaded uh, this last week, if, if that was in fact uh, an authentic video. 20 some odd Christians uh, beheaded, uh, that would happen in less than 90 days in Saudi Arabia, yet we're supposed to uh, go to war, put boots on the ground, wipe out ISIS. But we're allied with people who do that on a regular basis. And that, that's what we're seeing here with this kind of hypocrisy with the feminists. That's right. And, you know, Saudi Arabia passed a law which characterized female drivers as terrorists. You didn't hear any feminist outrage about it. Mm -hmm. You know, they were too busy complaining about Matt Taylor, the comet scientist, quote, sexist shirt. That's what they harp on about. They harped on about the college rape scandal for years, claiming that one in five female students in the United States are victims of sexual assault. We got the Justice Department numbers in 2014, December, which showed that actually 0 0.03 in five are victims of sexual assault on US college campuses. Wow. And female students are 25% less likely to be raped than non-students. And yet they harped on about that for years. It was a contrived myth. It blew up in their faces with the University of Virginia uh, rape scandal, which was completely debunked. And then we can get on to what's actually happening with real rape scandals after the break in Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and other European countries. Yeah, they throw these uh, statistics out there. And uh, just like we see happening with the vaccine thing, the, the CDC continues, continues to tell everybody, hey, these vaccines are 99% effective. And yet we saw in the uh, Disneyland outbreak that 14% of the people had been vaccinated. The year before they had an outbreak in California, 18% of the people had been vaccinated. 
Back in 1987, according to the, and if you think, well, maybe that's just a small population. If you go back to 1987, look at the CDC's own numbers, 52% of the people who came down with measles had been vaccinated. Yet they still put this uh, story out there that it's 99% effective. I, they continue to persist in these kind of statistics to support their view. That's why you always need to go back and check to see where did these numbers come from. Yeah, because, I mean, they can contrive a whole narrative based on completely fraudulent numbers, and only later they come out and prove the opposite case. But again, there's a huge article up on InfoWars, Feminist Mute on Muslim Rape Epidemic Sweeping Europe. This is a heavily documented article. It's, it's full of videos and hyperlinks to government documents, police reports, about how this epidemic of Muslim abuse is sweeping the continent, so we'll get on to it. Yes, that's an article up on Infowars.com. We have Paul Joseph Watson from the UK joining us, and he's going to be with us right after the break. Stay with us. I am a 47-year-old female and had a heart attack in 2005. This is Alice from New Jersey. I still get angina, even with four stents. I was taking nitro two or three times a week. The very first day after taking heart and body extract, the chest pain was gone. Now I don't wear a nitro patch. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Hey there. Guns80.com continues to surprise us with low prices and high-quality Ghost AR-15 rifle kits. At Guns80.com, Ghost AR-15 kits are an even better idea than buying at gun shows or through private parties. Because the Ghost AR-15 kits at Guns80.com require no background checks, no registration, they don't even have serial numbers. That's what I call privacy. Go to Guns80.com to order your Ghost AR-15 rifle kit. No dealers, no hassles, ship direct. Guns80.com or 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248-6780. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. This year, resolve not to be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. FakeTV.com. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy. Until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's togethersave.com. Togethersave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. Togethersave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at togethersave.com. You hear about it every day. Another shooting where innocent people lose their lives. The best insurance is being prepared. Give your loved ones the safety they deserve with a bulletproof backpack. Independently tested to withstand a 357 and multiple other calibers. Perfect for students, commuters, anyone. Shield yourself and your family. Call 8445-BULLET. That's 8445-BULLET or see the proof at bulletproofbp.com. Bulletproofbp.com. We've got your back. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we have joining us from the UK, Paul Joseph Watson. We've been talking about his story, Feminist Mute on Muslim Rape Epidemic Sweeping Europe. And of course, the bottom of this is multiculturalism. It simply isn't politically correct to talk about what's going on in European countries. As you point out in your article here, Paul, you say that in Denmark, for example, crime rates broken down by nationality show individuals from Muslim countries make up eight of the top nine places on the list. In 2012, sexual assaults were almost 10 times more common 
amongst those who were uh, uh, immigrants than with those of Danish citizenship. Yet we can't talk about that because it's not politically correct. We've been beaten down into submission with multiculturalism. Well, that's right. And I mean, this is the heart of feminism is rampant hypocrisy because they don't talk about this. Like the woman I was just talking about before the break, you know, has an organization devoted to ending sexual violence and rape against women, yet refuses to address this problem. You know, we had a case in Rotherham in England where from 1997 onwards for nearly 15 years, over a thousand young girls were sexually abused, beaten and trafficked by primarily Pakistani Muslim men. And the Labour government in Rotherham covered up and ignored that scandal, ignored the reports that were pouring in because they feared being characterized as politically incorrect and racist. So this is where political correctness again poses a direct threat to the just functioning of a free society. And as you mentioned, you can go through the other countries. And again, to underscore the point, you know, most sober minded Muslims would agree that this is a problem. This is a crisis that needs to be addressed, just as most Catholics would agree that the Vatican pedophile scandal needed to be addressed. You know, this isn't about demonizing Muslims. It's about calling out this authoritarian political correctness that prevents these reports from being taken seriously by governments in these European countries, by the media, because they're more concerned with protecting multicultural sensitivities, whereby to the point, you know, you've got Lars Hedegaard in Denmark who put out the report with the stats that you just mentioned. He was actually brought up under hate, hate speech laws for simply talking about the issue. So they're treating people who bring attention to it in some cases worse than the actual rapists. And we need to understand, Sweden. and we need to understand too that multiculturalism is really the tool to bring about global governance. They want to destroy uh, cultures and sovereign nations, and the way they do it is with open immigration, as they're doing here in the United States. They have a different way of doing it uh, slightly in Europe. Nevertheless, it is all about breaking down the cultures, the uh, continuity of uh, government, if you will. I don't like to use that phrase because that's something used by our government to justify a lot of, uh, a lot of very bad things. But the continuity of culture uh, of a people to, to break that down, to mix the groups together and to set them apart against each other. That's uh, all part of this multicultural. So uh, instead of just bringing this in and saying we want to uplift these cultures, they're actually using it to destroy indigenous cultures, aren't they? Yeah, and they're using it as a tool of political repression. They're playing yes. one culture off against each other. You know, even world leaders like Cameron and Merkel have admitted that multiculturalism has failed. It's a failed experiment. So, for example, since 1975 in Sweden, when they opened their doors to multiculturalism, the rape skyrocketed since that time by 1,472%. So now 77% of rapes committed in Sweden are carried out by foreign immigrants, mainly Muslims, because under Islam, they see women as second class citizens. But the people in Sweden who are drawing attention to this are being characterized as racist thought criminals merely for trying to highlight the fact that this is a major problem. Even yeah, they have, a, they have a real problem. That's why we see the rise of UKIP and a lot of these other parties that want independence from the European Union. They understand how this is being sold to them, how they're taking down their countries, and yet the standard response is that they're xenophobic, that they're racist. Uh, we're out of time for today. Thank you for joining us, Paul Joseph Watson, and join us tonight for the InfoWars Nightly News at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. 
Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 188-253-3139.